This video will show you some more new features of Moodle 2.3, how you can quickly rename a resource or an activity, and how you can quickly and easily choose one. Here we are back in our Moodle 2.3 goat milking course, looking at a couple of improvements that have recently been added by developers at Lunds, incidentally, that make it a lot more user-friendly. The first one is that it's very easy now to change the name of an item once you've added it without having to go back into the settings. So for instance, if I wanted to change News Forum to Announcements, I just click this pen here and it comes up immediately without taking me into the settings. So I can type the name there, then I press Enter and obviously I've spelt it wrong, I've called it Announcement. So if I just go back in again and then click S and Enter, very, very easy to do. That's the first thing. The second thing is if we look into the topics, we don't get the drop-down box for add an activity or add a resource. Instead, we get a plus here. And we're now offered a module chooser, an activity chooser. This is something that I highlighted a few months ago. And we can now see it in Moodle 2.3. So basically, you choose the resource or the activity that you want. And if you're not too sure of what it is, so for example, if you're not too sure of what uh, choice actually does for you, if you click on it here, it then brings up some information that you can quickly read. And there's the link, More Help, which will take you to the page in the documentation. Here's another one, for instance, if I want to know a little bit more about a glossary, and as well as what it is, some good ideas for using it, then I can see that there. So if I click to add a glossary, Then, and only then, it takes me to the, the settings where I can then start adding my glossary. And there it is. And if I wanted to change its name, of course, I could easily change it there. But there is another possibility, which is, what if you don't actually want to have this? Over in the settings in Course Administration, you can turn off the Activity Chooser and you get the familiar drop-down boxes again, if you prefer. And so those are two new features in the latest Moodle 2.3.